TTIP has a huge potential to help the EU become more competitive and deliver on jobs and growth. That is absolutely key and one of the top things that we can achieve through a good deal with America. And that is why we're working so hard to make sure this deal delivers for all citizens, but particularly for our small businesses and consumers. Well, small businesses in Europe deliver 98% of our job creation. They are huge employers and we need to recognise the contribution that they make economically and offer them a new environment, a new opening of the new opportunities in a major market and get them access to those key markets, get them access to public procurement so they can go over there and become part of global supply chains. Well, I hear from going to my region in the East Midlands and in the UK, there are still lots of barriers in place. We still have tariffs. Some of them are low. Some of them are still very, very high. And we can look at reducing those tariffs like 17% on shoes, 12% on jeans, some incredible 20% on processed food, and even 28% on ceramics. These are things that are major hurdles for businesses in competing in an American market. And that cost will be borne by the consumer themselves. So we have to remember that we're fighting to get a good environment for our SMEs to trade in by reducing those barriers to trade but also to get a good marketplace for our consumers to go out and buy good products at a good price. TTIP really has to deliver for our small businesses. It's not about the big guys, they can deal with this. It has to work for the small businesses. Every small guy on that marketplace needs to understand what they need to do in order to take advantage of opportunities. They know where to get the information and they have the access to those new markets. It's absolutely essential. But the potential is out there. We just have to unlock it.